Well, hi. Today, let's take a look at some very useful tools that you'll find in the gallery in your Smart Notebook software. These tools that you see on your screen are timer tools that you can find within the gallery. For the one on the left, it's called a firecracker, and if you click on the gallery and search in the gallery and search for the word firecracker, you're going to find this particular flash file that's called Firecracker. And it's a timer tool which you can use to help keep your class organized, to help move kids along to a new center, to give them a countdown when it's time to finish up with one thing and move on to another, just like you would any other timer. The other two timers that you see over here on the right, if you go also to the gallery and search for the word timer, it will give you these two, timer with no number and then timer two. So what I want to do is show you how you can use each of these timer tools to help keep your classroom organized or just to help keep your kids on track in the classroom. First one, the firecracker. Um, you'll see it's got a big white number 10 on it, so that will um, count down for 10 seconds. And the way you do that is by, basically it's like you're lighting the match at the end of the wick. So if I click on it, you'll notice that it starts the countdown timer on the screen and the, the wick or fuse burns down until we get to zero, to zero seconds and then you have a big explosion to tell you that it's time to do whatever the teacher wants you to do. That's one kind of timer. Click reset and you're all ready to go again. The next timer that I want to show you is this, it's a little digital timer. I use it in my classroom all the time. And you can uh, time by seconds, minutes, and hours. I've got it set to five seconds just so you can kind of get an idea of what will happen. If I click the arrow to play, it'll count down and you'll get a signal when the time is up. Okay, the signal beeps a couple times and then it stops. The third timer is pretty much the most sophisticated one and I wanna show you a couple things you can do with that. This I think is really pretty slick. You can count up or you can count down. If you click the double arrows here on the right side, it gives you some options about what will happen when the time is actually reached. So. The way I have it set here is that it'll automatically take me to the next page in my slide and the sound that we'll hear is drums. I can change wh what will happen so it'll take me to the last page, to a previous page, it'll delete the timer. I can inject text so if I want to put a short message about what the kids should do when the timer rings, um, I can inject an image or I can have no action whatsoever. I'm going to leave it at this point for next page just because that's what I'm going to do. Um, the sound that we're going to hear for this particular time, I have it set to drums, although I could change it to a guitar or a trumpet, cheering, applause, or a beep, or no sound whatsoever. So um, let's change it, this one, to applause. And I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to count down. So I want to um, change it from zero seconds to, we'll do three seconds. I click play by clicking the arrow in the green circle here. And watch what will happen. I get some applause. And then it takes me to my next page in my notebook document. Cool thing about this is that I can set a timer and give kids an opportunity to do something that they might be seeing up on my smart board. And then when the timer rings, it'll automatically take them to the next page or to a different page so that they have to go on to do the next activity. This is a really, really cool way of keeping kids pacing themselves the way you would want them to. Um, I know in my class sometimes kids will get stuck on something and they won't want to move on to the next task or the next problem or whatever. Anyway, that's one way that you can use that particular timer tool. So anyway, back to the beginning, we've got the firecracker that will count us down 10 seconds. We've got the digital timer that will basically just count down or up hours, minutes, or seconds. And then this, this circular timer that will count up, count down, 
and it will give you an opportunity to add some some different um, tasks or um, different things that will happen after the timer reaches zero. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these and I hope you'll be able to use them in your classroom starting tomorrow. My name's Amy, I'm a smart exemplary educator and I hope you've enjoyed learning this little bit about some of the timer tools you find in the smart notebook software. Thanks for watching.